Hello friends, welcome back. Ati welcome to you. We are continuing with examples on integration by parts. We will try to solve these three examples in this particular session. The first one to be solved is integral of x cos inverse x dx. Now if you remember in the last session we have solved integral of x sin inverse x. Now in this session we will try to solve the say this type of problem by using another method that is by trigonometric substitution. So what we will do, we will take x equal to cos theta. If x equal to cos theta we know that dx will be minus sin theta d theta and we also know cos inverse x is equal to theta. So we'll try to substitute. We will have integral of x is cos theta multiplied with cos inverse x is theta and multiplied with dx that is minus sin theta d theta. Let's try to simplify this. We'll take minus out. We'll have theta sin theta cos theta. Now we know that sin theta cos theta equal to half sin to theta. Sin theta cos theta is nothing but equal to half of sin to theta. So we'll leverage that property. We'll write it as equal to minus 1 by 2 integral of theta sin to theta. Now we are comfortable with this particular way of solving the problem instead of inverse because we know that by ILATE we know here algebraic function and trigonometric function and we know that we have to take the first function as algebraic function. So this is my first function and this is my second function. Let's revise what is the formula to find out integration by parts. Integral of f of x into g of x dx is equal to let us say this is first function and this is second function. What we will do? We will say first function we will leave it as it is. We will do the integral of second function then we will do integral of the differentiation of first function that is f dash x dx f dash x and that multiplied by integral of gx whatever we have got earlier or can I say simply integral of 1 into 2 is equal to 1 leave it as it is integral of 2 dx minus integral of d by dx of 1 first function and multiply that with integral of 2. This whole thing we have to do integral. So that is how we do the integration by parts. So we'll go back to this example and try to leverage that particular formula. So next step will be minus of theta is the first function so we'll leave it as it is then integral of sine to theta minus integral of first we have to find out differentiation of the first function so d by d theta of theta and that I have to multiply with integral of sine to theta d theta this whole thing I have to do integral of that. So let's go to the next step. I will have minus half into integral of sin 2 theta is minus cos 2 theta by 2 minus integral of let's see what we are getting here in bracket d theta by d theta is 1 and integral of sin 2 theta is minus cos 2 theta by 2 
and for that we have to do integral whole thing so the next step will be minus of minus theta cos 2 theta by 2 minus of minus will be plus I can get 1 by 2 will have cos 2 theta integral let's look at this step minus into minus is we have theta minus cos 2 theta by 2 minus half is outside then we have this everything coming in forgot and this this everything is coming with minus half so minus half into minus theta cos 2 theta by 2 then afterwards we have minus of minus is plus 1 by 2 comes out integral cos 2 theta d theta and this everything is there in the bracket so let's go to the next step next step will be we try to separate this now multiply with minus 1 by 2 we'll have theta cos 2 theta by 4 minus 1 by 4 integral of cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta by 2 plus c this is nothing but equal to theta is we know co cos 2 theta let's find out that how to represent cos 2 theta in terms of cos theta 2 cos square theta minus 1 is equal to cos 2 theta so I can write cos 2 theta in terms of cos theta I can write it as 2 cos square theta minus 1 that is 2x square minus 1 by 4 into theta that is cos inverse x minus 1 by 4 into sin 2 theta that is 2 sin theta cos theta plus c 2 2 will cancel will have the last step as 2x square minus 1 by 4 cos inverse x minus 1 by 4 sin theta cos theta cos theta is x then sin theta is root of 1 minus x square divided by 4 plus c let's understand this what is sin theta sin theta is equal to root of 1 minus cos square theta how we got that formula because we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta or sin theta is root of 1 minus cos square theta that's nothing but root of 1 minus x square so the answer is 2x square minus 1 by 4 cos inverse x minus of x into root of 1 minus x square by 4 plus c so earlier we have directly taken with x and cos inverse x we did x square by 2 cos inverse x minus of integral of cos inverse x differentiation then multiply that with uh, x square and do the integral now this time we used trigonometric substitution that's the difference so let's revise that x cos inverse x we have taken x equal to cos theta dx is minus sin theta d theta cos inverse x becomes theta so the formula integral of x cos inverse x will become x cos inverse x will become minus of theta sin to theta that is what we have integrated and we found the answer let's go to the next one we have to find out the integral of x into log x whole square dx we look at i late we know that logarithm comes before algebraic function so this is my first function and this is my second function so as per the rule what we have to do is we have to leave the first function as it is so log x whole square then multiply that with integral of x minus integral of we will have d by dx of first function now that is log x whole square that you have to multiply with integral of x dx this whole thing we have to simplify and we have to find out the integral
So let's go to the next step. X integral of x is x square by 2 log x whole square minus integral of let's simplify this what is d by dx of log x whole square is it like d by dx of x square x square d by dx is 2x so we'll do 2 x is log of x here 2 log of x and what's the derivative of log of x 1 by x and that this is nothing but x to the power of n n into x to the power of n minus 1 but x itself is a function so by chain rule we have to find out then integral of x is nothing but x square by 2 so this whole thing I have to find out the integral so that will be x square by 2 log x whole square minus 2 2 will cancel x will go x square x times so I will have minus of integral x log x dx now we have to do integration by parts again here and this is my first function and this is my second function this is the first function and this is the second function so we will apply the rule we will go to the next step that will be x square by 2 log x whole square minus of let's do the integral of this we will have first function leave again leave as it is second function we have to integrate so integral of x dx and multiply that with log of x minus integral of we have a big integral we have to do d by dx of log x and that we have to multiply with integral of x dx this whole thing we have to integrate so we will have for all this we need to have a integral let me just simplify this did a small mistake there mm. on this whole thing we want to find out the integral so let's go to the next step x square by 2 log x whole square will remain as it is x square by 2 log x whole square will remain as it is minus integral of x is x square by 2 can I say x square by 2 into log x minus of minus is plus I have to do integral d by dx of log x is 1 by x and that you have to multiply with integral of x that is x square by 2 and we need integral of that so that's equal to x square by 2 log x whole square minus x square by 2 log of x plus x will go in x square x times integral of x is x square by 2 so can I finish it in one step saying x square by 4 plus c because integral of x is x square by 2 we have 1 by 2 into x square by 2 that is x square by 4 plus c let's go to the next one that is integral of x secant square x what we did with x of log x whole square according to eyelet we know that this is our first function so we applied integration by parts we have to apply it one more time because we got integral of x log x on that we again applied the integration by parts we got the answer let's go to the next one integral of x secant square x first is algebraic function then we have trigonometric function i late which function to be selected as first one which we are not going to integrate and differentiate in the second step 
first is algebraic comes before trigonometry so we will take first function as algebraic function so x is first function secant square x is second function so we'll go by the formula we'll write down first function will as it is multiply that with integral of second function that is secant square x dx minus integral of now I have to differentiate the first function so that is d by dx of x that I have to multiply with integral of second function that is integral of secant square x dx this whole thing I have to find out the integral after simplification so x into integral of secant square x is we know that is tan x minus integral of dx by x is 1 and multiply that with integral of secant square x that is tan x dx so we need to find out x tan x next step will be x tan x minus integral of tan x dx now we know integral of tan x is minus log cos x so we can write it as now x tan x minus log minus of minus log cos x can I say plus log cos x plus c now how we got this particular formula we know that integral of tan x is equal to minus log of cos x this we know how we know that tan x is sin x by cos x you take cos x equal to t you will have sin x dx equal to dt minus of sin x dx is dt so you'll have minus of log of cos x that is log of secant x or minus log cos x so so we have seen in three examples in the next session we'll continue with integration by parts and we'll try to solve some more examples so we have to understand given an function to be found out integral we have to see if we are solving by integration by parts which function to be appropriately chosen as the first function so that the problem becomes easy to solve for that we have highlight which will help us to select the first function so the formula for integration by parts is integral of first function into second function is first function multiplied with integral of second function minus of integral of derivative of first function multiplied with integral of second function simplify that and that you have to again find out the integral so I'll catch you again in the next session we'll do some more examples as part of integration by parts thanks